Portland's crying after this one. The Blazers had a chance to continue this series, but you know what? The Nuggets and their two-man game featuring the MVP. He said, no, series over. You're watching the Toyota game recap. Nikola Jokic was fantastic. Monte Morris helped along the way. Michael Porter Jr. got the party started at 22 in the first quarter. Let's, let's start there. They don't win this game if MPJ doesn't start hot. Well, he kept it close because he, what he made it, his first five or six, he ended first up six five. out of seven. Yep. Yeah. And Dems, he was, I mean, it wasn't just like, okay, he's wide open, he's just making shots. No, he created he was shots. Cooking. Yeah. He was cooking. cooked. And when they needed it too because Nikola Jokic was busy being in foul trouble uh, at that point in time. And so with him uh, fairly well removed from the, t from the game in the first quarter, where was the production going to come from? It was Michael Porter Jr. And then come third quarter, what looked like things were getting away from the Nuggets. They were down by as many as 14. Who did they turn to? Well, the most valuable player. He'll get that award soon, and he proved it again in this game. Nikola Jokic finishing with 36, eight rebounds, six assists. When you needed clutch buckets, just feed him the ball. Joker dominated, and Coach Malone talked about it, how they, they wanted to go to him more, get more shots, and not only did he get more shots, he delivered the shots. It's not how many you shoot, it's how many you make. And when you're doing that, you're making a lot. Yeah, you're right. 27 of his points in the second half. And I, and I think uh, what he established, especially with the 20 points in the third quarter, was a mindset change. You know, the, the, the Nuggets had shot 23 three-pointers in the first half. And they didn't want to go that, back down that road in the second. You wanted to get more aggressive, press the paint, press the rim a whole lot more. You lean on your MVP to do just that. The MVP did have a helping hand down the stretch. The two-man game is alive and well. It was with Jamal Murray for a couple years, but in, in Murray's stead, Monte Morris took over, and he looked good next to Joker, you, didn't you, he? You know, he really did. He played 19 minutes in the second half, six out of eight, 16 points, made a couple threes, four assists and the classic, zero turnovers. Monte, unbelievable. And the, the respect you get on that two-man game is what Portland tried to do. They switched numerous guys on Monte. They switched different guys on Joker, and it made no effect. Yeah, he's just playing the best basketball maybe of his entire Nuggets career right now. And certainly it's the most important basketball of his Nuggets career right now. And uh, what he's done tonight, 22 points uh, the in game five, uh, 28 points in game five. And so he has just come through uh, in the clutch, really giving the Nuggets uh, a person to really lean on at, for production off the bench. And then also a player that you can just hand him the ball late in the game and go, you and Joker figure this out and you can be fairly well confident that they're going to get that done. How about this one? Um, the last couple of years, the Denver Nuggets have now won four playoff series, four. They won four the last 32 years prior to that. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. And they're pretty good in elimination games. Aren't they Man, ever? They're getting it done. You know, one last little shout out, Austin Rivers. You know, not a big offense in night seven, but he played 40 minutes, held Damon Lillard to 28, but it was on 20 shots. He only made three of 11 threes. Great job. Let's Austin see Rivers. what they have in store for round number two. It's on to round two for the Denver Nuggets. And remember, packed house at Ball Arena for round two. Celebrate, boys. You deserve it.